core button and then say, yo, what up? How's it going? I'm much just chilling, trying to see if I can get Todoroki to work, Todoroki 2. I love it, love it, love it. Um, So, Toto 2, uh, cool character, fun character. I played a fire version in Vegas, and so I've got a lot of, a lot of experience with it, with the character. Um, I'm not too partial to the, the water version, but I'm excited to hear your pitch to see if you can change my mind. Okay, so I like the water symbol on Todoroki 2 because I think it maybe has some stuff that may start to push him over the edge now when it comes to... Right now, he's that like sideboard character... That a lot of people put on their side, but I think water with now the addition of cannon blast may get him maybe a little farther up on the totem pole when it comes to his playability. Because I think a big issue of his originally was his killing potential. Because yes, you can stun up, you can stun a lot, but if you have like resistance and he stun hate, it makes it really hard to use. Mm -hmm. But I think cannon blast is one of those cards that like you can buff it so much where even if they negate your stun, it's really hard to block. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. So um, I do think that water is a very good symbol for him. So what is the goal of the deck doctor? Are you trying to just like change numbers, cut numbers? Um, I definitely want to cut some because it's, it's a very big deck. It's 72. It but again, it's Todoroki. You are cycling cards with Frigid Heatwave. Mm -hmm. But also, um, I really like the idea of sideboarding Kamui Woods into water Todoroki too because of all the breakers so it gives you the double hit of like your breaker plus if I block you you get minus one damage right so I think like the two kind of can work a little bit together again they're both not like top tier characters but I want to see if I can get one of them to maybe push a little higher than people expect them to I love that I love that fully I love that fully so um what do you think is your besides cannon blast because that's the card that you said that you uh you uh are are, are, are a fan of um, yes. What's your favorite and least favorite attacks in your deck so far? I think my favorite attacks are, as you know, Cannon Blast, Frigid, and Frog Lashing. Um, I think Frog Lashing is good because it helps you, if you commit the flip foundations you have with Cannon Blast, you can re-ready them with the next type of Frog Lashing to basically make it a no cost. Um, but I think like Cinder could probably be one of the ones that leave, and Downward Frostbite for sure are two probably are two of the ones I would say are the most common ones to leave. Yeah. Um, I, maybe I Ice Wall. Downward Frostbite uh, is a card that in the biz we call bad. <laughs> um, okay. Um, got this one. And then, all right. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let's take a look. So I'll put in a couple things in your, uh, in your sideboard. First and foremost, uh, how much of a man are you? You like two checks uh, or what's up? So I, as you know, I went to Orlando this last week and I was playing two checks on my Jiro deck. Mm -hmm. And like I do, like I don't mind two checks all that much when I can affect my checks a little bit more later on. Right. But if I don't know, it's like, to, for instance, I played this deck a little bit today. Like, and at times I just felt like I checked so many attacks and I just didn't get the attacks I wanted that it hurt so bad. I was committing myself out where I couldn't even use Cannon Blast properly. Right. So you're saying you're a so, weenie and you, you won't play two checks? No, so like, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to play a two check, but again, I need to figure out some like things to remove or to maybe make it more, like, to hopefully balance out the checking. Love it. Makes sense to me. So I think uh, Zinger Glacial Storm needs to be in your sideboard at bare minimum. Yep. I think this card just royally destroys a, a lot of decks. Um, and I think Tape Swing is actually the way to play Water Todoroki too. Um, giving this okay. thing plus two plus two stun two is nuts. And if I were if I was forced to play Water Todoroki two at an event next, this is the card that I would be playing. Yep. I think this card is just better than the Center Convictions one high personally. Yep. Um, it's just not fair being able to pick this card up every turn. Yep. It's just like yeah. a cracked version of Grasping Tape Toss. Yeah. Just the more That's momentum fair. you have, you just slam it into it and then just pick it all back up. Yep. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yep. And then uh, Downward Frost Spike uh, should just be Tongue Whip, right? True. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, like this, I'm just going to take this card out. I don't even know what this card does. It's just going to be three copies of Tongue Whip, and then we'll figure it out from okay. there. Um, when I played the deck, the cards that mattered to me most were uh, Giant Ice Wall yep. and Ice Storm. These are the cards yep. that were crazy, but I was playing the Fire version, so I was trying to yep. absolutely murder people. Uh, Giant Ice yep. Wall, having potentially stunned six on the card, is incredible. Yep. It's very good. Um, Ice Storm being a six low for six stun two move. Can't be blocked by attack cards. Incredible poke. 
Very, very good. I think you're playing one too many frigid heat waves. Okay. Um, I think this card is perfect at a three of, unless you're playing like an absolutely massive deck like you are now. But the goal yep. is to cut, right? If we were playing yeah. 72 cards, I'd be down for I'd be down for four of this card. Seeing yep. this two of this card on turn two sucks. Yeah. And so we just we don't we don't want that. Okay. Um, it also makes us three six low blocks and then high blocks we've got three six high blocks and the rest yep. are all mids like this is a great attack ratio personally i think i think yes. 22 attacks is amazing um and i i want to just take the cinder convictions out how do you feel about this card so part of me does really like the ability to go so like well yes it's only a three mid for five if i play it like second or third attack the one thing i do like about it again it's like the only part i truly think this card is like at all good for is that kind of sneaky oh if you don't block this you can really take seven damage for free and it can be a kill if that could be what kills you right so if they can't block it then it's like oh well now i'm dead because i lose two free health essentially but that's like the only in my opinion upside but i don't think it's worth with that just to keep it in the deck just, so i don't think it's worth so here is here's my opinion on Todoroki is mm -hmm. he's not a string character and when yeah. I played him in Vegas I tried to make him a string character. I tried to make okay. him a string character. He plays one poke and then he passes and then he's good. The only time that he ever strings um is you get to string under the water symbol because of frog lashing and you're faced this yeah. is a three difficulty. So you go lash 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 kill yep. them, right? But your goal yep. here should be Hey, this is a giant ice wall. Um, it's got stun four, and it's a five low for seven. Catch. Yep. Oh, you took it? All right, I'll, I'll build two pass. Hold my three have or build build uh, three pass. Hold my two. Pick my giant ice wall back up on your turn. Block with yep. my breaker. Play another huge poke, which is why Cannon Blast is so good, right? Yep. Um, on him, it's a stun two. Six high for seven. Uh, yep. Seven high for nine. Uh, oh, nine, yeah. uh, nine high for 13 a nine high for 13 with stun two that's cracked that's so crazy good um yeah. and so like he's just a big poke character and cinder conviction like you said is a string whereas tape swing is the poke yeah um so i would either put in tape swing or i would put in grab swing tape toss and i think making sure your block I mean, modifier is good i think tape, tape swing is just the answer. i have three of those so i can do that love it i'm gonna put in three and i, I don't think you're gonna i don't think you're gonna miss it miss cinder no, I don't either uh, you got the one sports stadium? Yep, I got the one sports stadium. Lucky ducky. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, let's talk about foundations now. Uh, so first okay. and foremost, without looking at what you have in your deck, okay, the big things that I saw that you didn't have it in your list at all were things mm -hmm. like graceful maneuvers. Yep. Surviving the finals. Yeah. Sticky balls yep. and frozen. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, let's start from the bottom up. Frozen is the way that you stay out of deadlock. This is True. the only yep. way that you get to stay out of deadlock. There aren't any other destroy one foundation colon cards. This is just it. This is the one you get. So I think yep. you have to play it. I think you have to. That's fair, yeah. Um, sticky balls. Uh, spooky, because we're playing two checks now. And so same thing with uh, with the frosting. But I think if you can get away, if you're allowed to get away with that, I think that it's very good. Yes, I would agree. Surviving the final. Exceptional speed hate. Very, very yep. good speed hate. And then, uh, lastly, maneuver, uh, Grace Maneuver is uh, really good versus these uh, the, the water clog decks themselves. So, just yep. feels great. Feels very good. Ignores ignores all the clog that you have. Sure. Um, so, like, it looks like you're just missing, like, like speed, speed, and then disruption. Uh, dis flow? Is it a flow card? Disruption oh, card? Oh, yeah. How's it? I think flow. Flow it is. <laughs> flow it Either is. one. It doesn't matter. Either does. way it works. <laughs> um... So, with that said, there are some interesting uh, choices that we that we get to hear uh, get to do here uh, by cutting. We have successfully cut one card. Congratulations. Oh. Um, we're not really allowed to cut low blocks until we get this a little little yep. tightened up, um, specifically agree. in our in our high block uh, spot. So let's just take a look at the high blocks we have. Right, yep. desperate times, self assured, too self assured. We need two of this card. You think? Um. So I like the ones I have two of. Is I I do kind of want to see it. Just for the fact that when I was running it, so like today I ran for I was playing this card, this deck, and the one downside I guess maybe it's a downside I don't really know. At one point I found myself with fourteen cards in hand, <laughs> and I was like, "What the heck do I do with all this?" Right. 
So, like, I guess self-assured, like, again, like, it's nice with the draw potential, but if I have Frigids, I feel like it's not really necessary. But I did like committing to change the zone of this attack, of their attack. So, like, if I needed to change the, my opponent's zone, I just had the ability to do that. Okay. That was a really nice thing. So, I think one of is probably a more reasonable thing after now, like, realizing when I played it, going, like, I have 15 cards in hand. Yeah. What do I do with 15 cards in my hand? Yeah. Uh, wall clinging at a 2-up, I think this is a really good choice. You just toss the other two in your sideboard. First on the counter yep. at a 3-up, question mark? Yes, so the reason why I like this card a lot is because I do really like the Deadlock um, Enhance. I think it's really strong. Mm -hmm. Being able to go either I'm, if I'm attacking, I can make it so it's really hard for you to block. If I'm defending, I can make it really hard to pass checks. But also, since I'm running a very big um, ranged deck, it allows me to pass ranged attacks easily. Late, like if I were to do a little bit of a stream, if I were to play like uh, Cannon Blast into a Tongue Whip, mm -hmm. it allows me to get that off way easier. Like now it's Tongue Whip's essentially, a, I mean, Frog Lash is essentially a tool, a two check. Right. So that makes it really nice. But otherwise, like, again, I'm not set on three. I was just like, this card just seems really good on Todoroki because he's a lot of ranged cards. This is the best one of in uh, five diff water decks possible, right? Um, it yeah. needs to be just threatening enough for the uh, deadlock ability to matter, right? Um, like them, them existing. Um, yep. But because we're not like Asui, right? The commit cost yep. is actually real. Um, she gets away with it really, really easy because you go commit and then you flip to ready her and then you ready it back up with frog lashing, right? Like that feels really good to like use all of the card, but it's constantly just commit yeah. for plus one, plus one, minus one difficulty is fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's not great. Um, choosing a hero name. You're going to have to sell me so hard on this card. So I'll be honest with you. I misread the card the first time I put this in the deck. When I played it today, I realized I misread the card. Love it. I Gone. didn't realize I don't want that to talk it was like... Anymore. Drowning. Drowning resentment. <laughs> yes. Okay. Sell me on it. So, I like Drowning and Resentment. I think it's a nice card, especially on, again, Total Good 2, because you can make any of your attacks stun. Yeah. Any range attacks you have stun, really. And also, I do... So, like, today I was playing against an Eraser head, and Drowning and Resentment like felt really good yeah for when he did race picking up a yeah. I'm like, yeah flip, yeah now you you have an extra difficulty to all your attacks but like i mainly have it there for the plus two damage to really push something to either lethal or to make it worth the half block it's like uh well i'm still taking additional one damage yeah i think the real answer here is actually just to cut it down to maybe like a one or a two of i think okay. three might be too many just because we're trying to get this number down yeah um, i think that's fair it's a card that it's a card that you would like to see but you don't have to see uh travel by tape i hope you misread this one too um so i do so the reason why this is kind of in there is for when i do my blocks mm -hmm. i like it for when i block and i can go okay well like for instance on comely woods it'd be really strong because yeah. i can go okay block discard it and i can just keep blocking and no progressive difficulty right right but right. again um i do again it's still he i i think chain which my big issue was my mid blocks. So it was mainly there also for that change of your zone. Your rival's attack. So I can go, okay, I can change it to a mid, and now I can use my breakers a little more, more easily. So I think cards like this are a trap, and they, they actually they are actually are a telltale sign that you have made a less optimal deck because you said that mid blocks are my are my deficit. So I'm going to put in this yeah. non mid block to help me yeah. with mid blocks. Just, yeah, that's fair. Put in better <laughs> mid blocks. Wouldn't tape yeah. just be like a better option? Putting another more ice legs in be better options than putting yeah. in this so so two four two high block. If this card had was a two four zero high that did all this, I think I'd be in, right? But yeah. I think that the, that it, it's just it's a little overstated for what you're getting out of it. If you oh, yeah. love the card, I want it to be a one of. If if you're not absolutely married to this card, get rid of it, man. This card. This card is not good. Maybe in set I don't think six, I'm set to it. seven, yeah. this card will be okay. But at, at the moment, this card, this card, if you think about putting this card in in your deck, it is a it is a, a a smoking gun of oh I've got something I've got something wrong here. Yep. Um, gotcha at a four of love it. It's spam, irrefutable, making a stand, struggling with studies, tape. If you have an issue with mid blocks, which I think that's not necessarily the case, right? Like you've got not anymore, yeah. Yeah, we get to put a couple of these in, but we've got we've got a survivor of the final. We're gonna we're gonna take a toss in, and frozen. Yeah. Um. Uh, tape. Think fast. At a two of question mark. Um. Again, I really like this card for the 
changing, even if like, so I used it a lot, so when I was playing, because again, low blocks are usually a, almost all decks weak spot. Yeah. So what I would do is I would use Think Fast along with Gotcha and commit Gotcha giving my attack plus one speed and then changing it to like a low block mm -hmm. and a low attack and then use the if the zone of attack is changed, get plus one, plus one. So essentially it's getting plus two, plus one yeah. for just committing a card. And also now odds are, unless they're holding low blocks, which again against a Todoroki, I feel like it's not always the smartest thing because don't, they don't seem to have a lot of low attacks besides um, Ice Storm. And on water, yeah, you have a little bit more on low. But I feel like, oh, it's true, Ice Wallets do. But yeah, but I feel like most people don't hold a lot of low blocks. They're more like the little mid block, I mean, mid blocks, hold mid blocks. Mm -hmm. So you it's like pretty low, and now you have just, to have just so you know. Yeah, and now you tongue up, yeah. yeah. So again, I'm not like dead set making it a two up. I can put it on the one up, I think that's, I think that's fair. But I do like seeing it to be able to give it that plus two, plus one. Mm -hmm. Your name's not Saro. This gets to be a one of. It's either one or okay. zero. If your name's Saro, it gets to be a three or a four of. Uh, hey, I think I think this card, um, with it being a, a two, five unique, the best part about this card is a, it's a one mid block. And there's just better yeah. things that we could be doing with those slots. Um, so I, I think it is amazing tech. I have lost plenty of matches due to this card. Um, but... It was because they found their one of, and that's that's just you know that's what happens you know you find out find a, a good one of. It's the reason you put it in your deck, but yep. I think it does have too many. Uh, creepy yep. to three of. Uh, this card's gonna blow people out even harder than before because we're playing the triple tongue whip. So love yep. it. Uh, defrosting. Love this card. I think this card's very very cool. Um, I personally think that sticky balls is better, but I get I get where your brain's at defrosting wise. Mm. Uh, Ice guy is great. Face shield's great. Um, realize that in this. You got three shield, three cling, so just be careful with it. Um, and from here, we are at 58 cards. I want to push this back up to closer to 63, 64. That yeah. is that is the goal because we got to put we got to put some high blocks back in our deck. Uh, yeah. The easiest one is just triple surviving and then triple frozen and then see what happens. Look at that, 64, and then 21, 18. We got to increase our three increase our low block count just a little bit what low blocks we got in here uh gotcha irrefutable oh, oh hello making a stand irrefutable is gonna be pushed up to a three of and then i think we're good there if we want to push higher which i don't think we need um we just add in another tape to help us uh cover our zones all in all though this is where it's at i think this is a great list uh we just had an Earth deck win an event, and so we have to play Irrefutable, and there should be a fourth one in your sideboard. Um, being able to turn off his his stuff is incredibly, incredibly good. Um, this card, this deck also like absolutely demolishes that that uh, uh, Kirishima deck, by the way. Yeah. Just because of how big we get to make our tape swings. Yep. Very good. Super, super good. Make him absolutely massive, and then slam him with a cannon blast right down his throat. Yeah, oof, good stuff. Uh, I like water now with cannon blast made Toto maybe a little better on water. I think the yeah. cannon blast definitely put him up a little bit more above. Like above, I think it puts him above. I think fire is inconsistent at times. I, I wanted to do fire, but I'm like, I think he just is inconsistent because again, like you can definitely make it. We can kill turn two with it, but again, I feel like he doesn't necessarily need to be a string. I feel like he can, like I said, be a poke and go, yeah, let's just poke you for like eight, like four damage, like every turn or five damage every turn. Correct. Yeah, yeah, to the point where I don't necessarily think that you need Kamui Woods in your sideboard. I think it should be Mineta mm -hmm. too. Okay. Yeah, I would try. I would try Mineta, um, and see how that works because Mineta yeah. with tape swing, Mineta with cannon, Mineta with frigid T wave, yeah. all great. All great stuff. Yep. Yeah. So I, I like Kamui Wood. I think he's a cool character. You know, commit to just, yeah, yeah, yeah. All your attacks, minus one damage. Cool. Yeah. I block it. Minus two from now on. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. It's very, very good. All right, man. Is there anything in this deck that you vehemently disagree with? Um, uh, not that I can see. Because, again, the big thing for me was the amount of cards and the block zones that I really had my issues with. And we yeah. fixed those up really nicely, I, th I believe. Love it. So overall, I think, yeah, no, I do enjoy where it's at. I'm happy I got that sports stadium festival. So festival stadiums, so I'm like, that's really nice to have in this deck because I think it maybe helps a lot to be able to, like, cancel stuff and be like, yeah, sorry. Respond, yeah. like, breaker, no. You lucky deck. I wish I had some. I got one, and I'm like, that's the only card I honestly wanted from doing the originals, and I got it. I'm like, yep, I'm out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love to hear it. 
All right, man. Well, I I uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, yeah. thank you for the Thank's support you. over on Patreon. I greatly greatly appreciate it. Thank you for let me see your super cool water turtle rookie list. This looks like if I had to take something competitive, I think this would be a very very close to where to where I'd be at. Um, yep. With that said, um, thank you much. Stay on the line long enough for me to shoot you the list, and you have a good rest of your day. Okay. Well, yeah, you too. All right. Peace. Peace.